going to show you how to transfer songs from iTunes on your computer onto your iPod. Now the first thing you're going to need is a cord. This should have come with your iPod. There's two sides to it. This wider side is the side that plugs into your iPod. This end is the end that plugs into your computer. It's got an apple icon on one side and this funny looking three pronged icon on the other. This is the symbol for a USB port. Now you're going to know where on your computer to plug it in because this little symbol is the UBS symbol. Sorry, <laughs> USB symbol. And the USB symbol is going to be the same on your computer. Let me show you what I mean. Now a USB port is one of these flat looking ports that you'll have on the side of most computers. This is what it looks like on the side of my MacBook. Now, the way you know where to plug this into is by looking for the matching icon on the side of your computer. So, you can see all the different icons at the top of all of these slots and you just want to match this icon to the appropriate slot on your computer. So you see, this is the USB icon and so is this. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to plug it in with this side facing up. Plug it in to my iMac. Sorry, my uh, MacBook. Now I'm going to take my iPhone over here, look for this slot at the bottom, and I'm going to make sure that this is facing upwards and I'm going to plug this into my iPhone. It makes a little noise. So it is plugged in. Now if I were using an iPod and not an iPhone, here's my iPod. It would be the same thing. You would just plug it in here at the bottom. Now, back to iTunes. Now, one of the things that uh, Macs do quite nicely is anytime you plug in any device such as your iPhone, it opens any programs that you might want to do things with. So for example, I've taken some photos using my iPhone recently, so iPhoto has popped up asking me if I want to import any photos. I don't, so I'm just going to click this red X up here at the top to get rid of iPhoto. Okay, now here's iTunes. It says, your iPhone contains diagnostic information which may help Apple improve its products. By clicking send to Apple, Apple may collect and use this information. Personally, I don't really want Apple getting any information from me, so I'm going to say do not send. You may or may not get this. If you get it, I would just recommend clicking don't send. So here's the main screen describing my iPhone. So in order to find something to download that is not something we have to pay for, I'm going to show you how to download something from iTunes U. So once you're in iTunes, what you're going to want to do is go to the iTunes store. Now, on the left-hand side of your iTunes, there is this sort of bar where there's a bunch of different things in it. At the top, you have your library. Here, there should be a link to the store. And then below that should be all of your playlists, if you have any. So what you're going to want to do is go right under here to store and click on iTunes store. There should be a little green bag icon right next to it. And that will bring up a main page with a bunch of stuff on it. There will be some sort of ads at the top, some new and noteworthy stuff in the middle. But right here on the left hand side there should be a menu of different iTunes store categories that you can go to. So what we're going to want to do is go to iTunes U which is towards the bottom. And what iTunes U is, is it's a consortium of a bunch of different universities, universities that have decided to make some of their courses available for free on the internet by iTunes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. Um, I'm going to pick this one. doesn't really matter which one you pick. Mine is the Martin Luther King Jr. Celebration from Duke University. What this brings up is kind of maybe a picture with a description of what this is. And then what's important is down here at the bottom, this is the main grid that shows you all of the tracks that you can download. And there's different um, column headings up here. So there's names, so that's the name of the track, time, how long the track is, who the artist is, 
what the album is, and in this case, what is the price, and the price for all of these iTunes University audio tracks and video tracks should be free. So why don't we look at this one, which is Come to the Table 2007 MLK Address by Andrew Young. And we're going to click this Get button right next to the place where it says Free. And that's going to basically download this onto your iTunes. And where it's going to download it to is into a brand new folder that it will create under your playlist section called Duke in this case. And I'm going to click on it. Oops. Double click on it. And that is going to bring up the track that it is slowly downloading. You can tell that it is still downloading because of this sort of orange spinning wheel here. So let's just wait for that to download and then we can continue. So while this is downloading, you'll be able to see under the store section in your iTunes, there should be a new section called downloads. And then when you click on it, you can come and see just how far along your download is. So you can see from mine that we're almost all the way through this download. So now my podcast has finally completed downloading. You can tell that by looking at the status and it says 44.1 megabytes done. So now what I can do is go back to the Duke folder under my playlists and double click on come to the table 2007 MLK address. And this plays the podcast that I just downloaded. So how do I transfer this from my iTunes to my iPod, or in my case, my iPhone? What you're going to need to do is plug your iPhone back into this cord, if it's not already plugged in. If it is already plugged in, what you're going to want to do is basically click the sync button on your iTunes. Now, if you're not already on the iPhone section under the devices, you're going to want to click on it and go back to the devices section to bring you back to the home screen of the iPod. You want to be on the summary tab and you just want to click sync. And that should sync the Martin Luther King. Again, it's going to say sync in progress on your iPhone. It might say something different on your iPod, but just leave it alone until this taskbar has finished. So see, you probably can't view it from back there, but it's basically syncing that MLK address that I just downloaded onto my iPhone. Okay, now it says iPhone sync is complete. Okay to disconnect. So now I can unplug if I wish, my iPhone from my iTunes. Again, you're just going to want to click this little triangle here to eject. And you can unplug it from your computer. So now let's just see if that downloaded onto my iPhone. Let's go to Playlist, and here we have Martin Luther King Jr. Celebration. Come to the table, and I can play this on my iPhone. Pretty cool, right? Eh? So I hope this has been educational. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks.